few updates here at VA3SII. Where do I start? Oh, about November last year, the city took a tree down, which was the support for my uh, fan dipole. That prompted me to get into some research of an uh, NFED half wave. In the middle of December, this happened. Then we had snow. At the beginning of that snow, I put the fence up as best I could, but I have to finish that project as well. We've had snow through the winter pretty much till now. Um, and just a few light dustings just at the end of March and hopefully it's gone now for good but never say never so throughout that period of the last few months I've been doing research into NFED half wave 49 to 1 uh, variety of which you've seen in the previous couple of videos so I th feel pretty confident I've got uh, the findings of that under my belt. Now I want to see if I can replicate the same thing with a 9 to 1 uh, transformer on the same kind of principles with uh, an isolator and a short piece of wire as the counterpoise which was basically the findings that I had for the 49 to 1 although with a 9 to 1 the measurements are going to be different. different. So as I have a spare 9 to 1 here, that's what my experiment's going to be. Um, because I want it in with my uh, portable kit for my KX3. So along with the KX3 side of things, I was using this uh, gel cell battery, which is 7 amp hour, weighs a ton, and was going in my, I should say, my go bag, my the bag that I use for the KX3 so it's like a camera bag basically or projector bag and that fits everything I take with me including the battery so that battery was great however I've upgraded to da -da -da, a BioNO and this is uh, in fact I just told a lie that was a 7 amp hour battery um, for the gel cell and this is a 9 amp hour battery and it weighs, I won't even say like a third of that. So this is going to be a whole lot easier to cart around in the uh, in the bag with the rest of it. So this comes with, already with Anderson power poles. I just had to um, separate them and reposition them so that they matched up or they lined up with everything else I have in my current setup. So I always have these two a certain way so any supply I have like a power supply or battery has them this way and any lead that I plug into it has the opposite way to match up with this or to mate up with this. The thing I like about this um, battery is it also has this additional lead here which is like uh, say a 2.1 uh, mil connector it's not 2.1 but uh, <coughs> it's that same style of connector and it has, for want of a better word, a laptop charger with that right connector to plug in there. And it's uh, 15 volts, 2 amps. So this is 30 watts. But this will charge that battery in full in five hours. Yet to go out and test the performance of it, but I've never ever you know exceeded a 7 amp hour battery uh, so I very much doubt I'll put a dent in this one but the good point about it is is if I need to do any uh, away from home perhaps a weekend something don't tell the wife but uh, if I did go to do any particular competition or parks on the air or something like that I know for sure the little blue bioeno battery or long outlast any possible time that I could could use it so I'm looking forward to um, that side of the uh, experimentation this summer and uh, guess what else we have in May at long last Dayton 
Jeez, I cannot wait for Dayton. That's one thing I look forward to every year. For the last couple of years, it's been absolutely fucked because of COVID. So now, masks off, away we go. Let's enjoy these things again. And I'm really pleased actually for Dayton and for Xenia that they're able to put the event on this year. It's already been uh, the big ones down at Orlando. Um, is I think the other big one and, and I'm hearing on the news and the podcasts that all the other uh, you know reasonable sized ones are going ahead and have been going ahead uh, thus far but yep bring on Dayton see you there that's pretty much it for now um, report back in time report back in due course on the uh, the next experimentations which are the nine to one and fed half wave specifically for uh, portable use because my 49 to 1 ended up in the air here at the home station and it works beautifully so uh, yeah it'd be good to replicate that on a on a portable kit with a 9 to 1 um, and the battery yeah the findings of battery in the field I suppose have fun play radio enjoy bye so this video, if you like it, our video, comment down below or thumbs up. Thanks for watching VA3SII. Bye.